Hello, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this video, I am going to show you how you can generate a filter coefficient by using FDA tool into MATLAB. So moreover, I will be designing a low pass filter into filter design and analysis toolbox. And then finally, I will import those uh, I will import those variables into workspace, filter variables into workspace. Then I will perform low pass filtering here into command window. So we know you need to type here FDA tool that is filter design and analysis tool. Once you type there FDA tool, it will open filter designer. It says that FDA tool will be removed in future releases. So if this warning comes, then you can use filter designer. Right, so let's use a filter designer here. So once you type here filter designer, sorry, it's it's filter designer. So once you type here filter designer, it will open the same window, okay, as in FDA tool. So once filter designer comes here, it shows you first, um, you know, the first time when you open after your MATLAB installation, it takes a little time while initializing this filter designer. So once it is initialized, then you can start designing your filter. So here you have current filter information and here you have a filter specification. Now let's select response type low pass filter, but you have many other options to select here. Either you can select high pass, band pass, band stop. And there are two design methods as you know into digital filter designing technique such as FIR and IIR. We are going to select here FIR least square type. But in the FIR you see here there are many other type of FIR filters and each type of FIR filters have their own advantage. In the same way IIR filter have many other type of IIR filter designing techniques and each of these techniques have their own advantages. So we are going to select here FIR least square and we are going to specify order 10 here and after that we are going to select frequency sampling frequency to 500 and then the F pass filter we are going to select that to the 10 and then the stop stop band is 30. So this means once you click on the filter design then you will see here into magnitude response will be you know magnitude response will be um, shown here but as you can see now the filter response is not a very good so in this case either we can um, decrease this okay this f pass sorry either we can increase this f pass or increase this one so let's increase this to the 50 and now you will see the filter has been designed in a little better way right and let's keep it okay and if satisfy if this satisfy your uh, you know the requirement and now come to this toolbar so here you have magnitude response but if you click if you click this uh, toolbar it says that uh, phase response and from here you can get magnitude and the phase response together and from here you will get a group delay so there is a constant group delay of a pipe sample and here you will get a phase delay so it has almost a constant phase delay and from here you will get a filter information so filter is a stable and it is a linear phase and it has number of multipliers 11 and other informations you can get from this filter information icon and after that now let's see magnitude response now if you come into a file here you have many options and even if you go into analysis you will see here you know other uh, these toolbars information right icon information now I'm gonna uh, show you how you can import this filter into workspace so here you can import if you click on import filter from workspace then if there is a filter then it will import that filter here and 
you can import this you can export this filter into your simulink model that's when there is two way either you can import it or export it right so if you export it here from here then it will pop up another window now you can assign here where do you want to export this filter so this filter have a export options either you can export it into workspace or you can generate a coefficient file or you can generate a mat file or you can generate a sp tool file and then it will ask as how do you want to generate how do you want to export this so let's export this into a workspace then click on export and now you will see the filter coefficient has been exported as a number so this is b okay and a is always one and the another way in the another way you can generate a code so you can generate a matlab code once you generate a matlab code then you can see here filter design function right so in the filter design function it will let's make it lpf lp f dot m so once you design this filter and uh, filter design function you only need to call this lpf so once you run this lpf it will automatically you know apply your uh, settings which we had uh, set into a filter designer and then it will return this uh, you know um, filter design object so we have here two options and we will test these bo both options so let's first create here our uh, signal with sampling fs now fs must match this fs so here fs is 500 so fs is 500 and after this we are going to generate t t is equal to 1 divided by fs and then the time vector is gonna be 0 to t and then 1 minus t and now let's generate a signal x is equal to sine 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by f and then multiplied by 10 and I am going to add a here a little noise 0 0.2 and then random and then it will be size of t so here we have signal x now let's get output y using filter so filter takes input b where b here b is num and then a a is 1 and then finally input x right so let's plot this x against the t right and then also plot y against the t now you can clearly see here if you see here this is following exactly the same right so we have successfully removed the jitters from the signal so in this video we have learned how we can create a filter in how, how we can design a filter into filter designer and then how we can export those filter coefficients into MATLAB workspace and then how we can also generate a MATLAB function so let's get a MATLAB uh, uh, filter object D by just calling that script LPF which we have earlier designed so once we call D is equal to the LPF it will return filter designing parameters into D right and if you see here D double click this D and you will see here it will give you you know the filter uh, filter uh, response right so this is the filter values so once again we are going to call here yd yd is equal to filter and we will just pass d here right now let's plot it so if we plot uh, let's let's plot y which we had got from uh, direct exporting those uh, uh, filter coefficient into workspace and also let's plot this yd which we had created from our MATLAB script now you can see it very clearly here so it has produced exactly the same response 
right so that's why it is you know superimposed one after another right we can uh, do it by adding a little shg right you see here this signal and the, this signal right so this is the exactly the same okay so this is all about in this video we have learned how we can use fda tool that means the filter designer into a matlab then how we can generate a filter coefficients and then how we can perform filtering thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day